chapter 23. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, These are my appointed feasts, the appointed feasts of the Lord, which you are to proclaim as sacred assemblies. There are six days when you may work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of rest, a day of sacred assembly. You are not to do any work wherever you live. It is a Sabbath to the Lord. These are the Lord's appointed feasts, the sacred assemblies you are to proclaim at their appointed times. The Lord's Passover begins at twilight on the 14th day of the first month. On the 15th day of that month, the Lord's Feast of Unleavened Bread begins. For seven days, you must eat bread made without yeast. On the first day, hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work. For seven days, present an offering made to the Lord by fire. And on the seventh day, hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, When you enter the land I am going to give you, and you reap its harvest, bring to the priest a sheaf of the first grain you harvest. He is to wave the sheaf before the Lord, so it will be accepted on your behalf. The priest is to wave it on the day after the Sabbath. On the day you wave the sheaf, you must sacrifice as a burnt offering to the Lord a lamb a year old without defect. Together with its grain offering of two tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil, an offering made to the Lord by fire, a pleasing aroma, and its drink offering of a quarter of a hin of wine, you must not eat any bread or roasted or new grain until the very day you bring this offering to your God. This is to be a lasting ordinance for the generations to come wherever you live. From the day after the Sabbath, the day you brought the sheaf of the wave offering, count off seven full weeks. Count off fifty days up to the day after the seventh Sabbath, and then present an offering of new grain to the Lord. From wherever you live, bring two loaves made of two tenths of an ephah of fine flour baked with yeast as a wave offering of first fruits to the Lord. Present with this bread seven male lambs, each a year old and without defect, one young bull and two rams. They will be a burnt offering to the Lord, together with their grain offerings and drink offerings, an offering made by fire, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. Then sacrifice one male goat for a sin offering and two lambs each a year old for a fellowship offering. The priest is to wave the two lambs before the Lord as a wave offering, together with the bread of the first fruits. They are a sacred offering to the Lord for the priest. On that same day, you are to proclaim a sacred assembly and do no regular work. This is to be a lasting ordinance for the generations to come wherever you live. When you reap the harvest of your land, do not reap to the very edges of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. Leave them for the poor and the alien. I am the Lord your God. The Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, On the first day of the seventh month, you are to have a day of rest, a sacred assembly commemorated with trumpet blasts. Do no regular work, but present an offering made to the Lord by fire. The Lord said to Moses, The tenth day of this seventh month is the day of atonement. Hold a sacred assembly and deny yourselves and present an offering made to the Lord by fire. Do no work on that day, because it is the day of atonement, when atonement is made for you before the Lord your God. Anyone who does not deny himself on that day must be cut off from his people. I will destroy from among his people anyone who does any work on that day. You shall do no work at all. This is to be a lasting ordinance for the generations to come wherever you live. It is a Sabbath of rest for you, and you must deny yourselves. From the evening of the ninth day of the month until the following evening, you are to observe your Sabbath. The Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, the Lord's Feast of Tabernacles begins, and it lasts for seven days. The first day is a sacred assembly. Do no regular work. For seven days present offerings made to the Lord by fire, and on the eighth day hold a sacred assembly and present an offering made to the Lord by fire. It is the closing assembly. Do no regular work. 
These are the Lord's appointed feasts, which you are to proclaim as sacred assemblies for bringing offerings made to the Lord by fire, the burnt offerings and grain offerings, sacrifices and drink offerings required for each day. These offerings are in addition to those for the Lord's Sabbaths and in addition to your gifts and whatever you have vowed and all the free will offerings you give to the Lord. So beginning with the 15th day of the seventh month, after you have gathered the crops of the land, celebrate the festival to the Lord for seven days. The first day is a day of rest, and the eighth day also is a day of rest. On the first day, you are to take choice fruit from the trees and palm fronds, leafy branches and poplars, and rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. Celebrate this as a festival to the Lord for seven days each year. This is to be a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. Celebrate it in the seventh month. Live in booths for seven days. All native-born Israelites are to live in booths. So your descendants will know that I had the Israelites live in booths when I brought them out of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. So Moses announced to the Israelites the appointed feasts of the Lord. 